Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Tyler with My Computer Works. I hope everyone is doing awesome out there and staying safe online. Now this video is a follow up to our last video, Windows 10 is dying, which was a really fun video for me to make and it prompted a lot of calls and comments. And in case you missed it and what we covered, well, let me go over it real quick. Basically what we covered was the end of life or EOL for Windows 10, which is the time when the support for the operating system will end, like all kinds of different support. If you're interested in that video, definitely check that out after this one. But watch this one first, because they go hand in hand, and this one de definitely complements that one and covers some things that we didn't in the last one. So, most of you know by now what Windows 11 is. It's Microsoft's operating system that came out after Windows 10. Now, Windows 11 came out in October 5th of 2021. And we know that Windows 10 will be end of life or end of life for support anyway on October 14th of 2025, right? That's what we covered in the last video. Around that time, we may also see some more info on the release of Windows 12, which Microsoft has already announced is in the works and they hope to unveil near that time. So who can move to Windows 11 when Windows 10 dies? Or, you know, if you want to wait for Windows 12, who's going to be able to move to Windows 12? Will it be everybody? Will everybody just be able to instantly download Windows 11 to their computer as soon as Windows 10 is done? Well, no, the sad reality is that's not going to be the case. Not everyone is going to be able to move their Windows 10 operating system to update to Windows 11, I should say. So it's not gonna be able to do that. Not everybody's gonna be able to make the migration, unfortunately. A lot of people are gonna have to buy new computers. Well, who's gonna have to buy new computers? You're probably wondering right now, who, who, Tyler, tell me, why are you telling me this and not telling me? Unfortunately, everyone, I can't list every single model that will be able to make the move. That would just take too long. That'd be a really long video, It'd be pretty boring. You'd just be sitting there waiting to see if your model was gonna make it. Maybe you don't even know the model of your computer. Yeah, or we could sit here and I could go through all the tech jargon about HCL or hardware compatibility list, driver support for Windows 11, OEM licensure, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you're gonna get really bored and probably click out of this video. So to put it vaguely, uh, or kind of cover everything, but also not everything. Uh, it, let's put it this way. What I'm about to say will cover about 99% of the cases for the computers out there that are on Windows 10 and want to move to Windows 11, right? So if your computer was made in the last five years, there's a pretty safe chance that you're gonna be able to move to Windows 11. Because again, Windows 11 came out October 5th, 2021. So, you know, five years and you're probably gonna be pretty good. Now, in the last video, I also mentioned software and printers and things like that, that, well, I don't use older software and I don't use an older printer. I have a more modern printer and I use a lot of, you know, modern up-to-date software. And to be honest, I haven't had any issues, but I've seen a ton of issues and doing the job that I do. I have a lot of people who will move to Windows 11 and they try to play old games or they try to use old software. Or they try to use a really old printer and guess what? they don't work and those things have to be replaced too and that's really hard for people to hear but the are we really that surprised everyone i mean technology kind of moves forward that's the way it's always been um and then of course let me say real quick on the five year thing that covers from the manufacturer right so it was brand new not used or refurbished or you built it in the last five years i'm talking five years you bought it from hp lenovo dell you know these these big manufacturers so that is a safe bet now that's not to say that if you bought a eight-year-old computer five years ago that one's going to be able to move no but rather five years old the computer model came out five years ago pretty good chance it's going to be able to move to windows 11. so and then as far as software and printers go it's a total crapshoot everybody uh they could be good to go they could not be good to go you, you know you never know you could always look prior you could look up your model and see if there were drivers released for your printer for windows 11. Um, you could also check your, you know, if you have software that you're using, you can check sometimes the website and see, is it going to be compatible on Windows 11 or can I even download it on Windows 11? Um, so lot, lots to be done there. And yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be a move for people. It's going to be a lot of, a, a lot of hassle for many people out there who didn't want to move or wanted to stay on Windows 10. We saw it here uh, when, you know, Windows 7 and 8 were going out. People wanted to stay on the operating system, of course, after support ended. 
And like I said, I mean, it's not like the wind, the operating system just stops working. It'll still working, but it be working, but it just won't be working the way it should. And you won't be getting a lot of that support that you should be getting for the operating system. We're here to give the proper advice. And if you need help, you know, if you're not sure what to do or you need help with the, the move to Windows 11, you're wondering when to do it, how to do it, go ahead and give us a call. Reach out to My Computer Works. We'd be happy to help. And please go ahead and drop a comment down below. Like and sub while you're down there. And we look forward to seeing everyone on the next one.